Good day, everyone. Today, I want to introduce to you genitive case in Ukrainian. It is very easy and is used to denote the possession. It answers the question whose in Ukrainian. This question, depending on the gender of the noun, uh, can have uh, four forms. Chi, meaning whose when the gender of the noun is masculine. Chiya, when the gender of the noun is feminine. Chiye, when the gender of the noun is neuter and also chiyi, when the gender of the noun, actually the form of the noun, is plural. Now, I want to give you several examples so that you could understand how the gen genitive case is used. Uh, as an example word, we will take the word photo, uh, meaning photograph, and we'll see how it will go. So, we will ask a question. Chiye uh, se photo, meaning whose photograph is this. Now, if you want to answer that this photo is the photo of a sister, uh, you say se foto sestri. So, in nominative case, uh, the word sister is sestra, and it changes in genitive case sestri. Ending is e. Sestri. So, this photo of a sister is se foto sestri. Let's use this word with the other feminine words. So, when you want to say this photo is of a female pupil, you say se foto uchenici. This photo is of a female pupil, se foto uchenici. So, uh, you see again that the ending here from uchenica, so ending in nominative case is ya, uchenica, and it changes in the genitive case into uchenici, from ya to i. Another word is matir, meaning mother, more official, mother or matir. And if you want to say this photo of a mother, or this is a mother's photo, uh, you say se foto materi. This photo of a mother, se foto materi. So when in feminine the noun has no vowel ending, uh, you add up e to it, ending e. So se foto materi. Let's take another feminine word, podruha, meaning female friend, podruha. In answering the question, whose photo is this, chie se foto, you say, this is a photo of a female friend, se foto podruhi. This photo of a female friend, se foto podruhi. And you see again, in nominative case, the word female friend is podruha, and in genitive case, it changes to podruhi, ending is e. Now, let's get down to the masculine nouns. So, when you ask whose photo is this, chie se foto, and the answer will be like this photo of a teacher. So, teacher in Ukrainian is uchetel. Uchetel. And you answer se foto uchitela. This photo of a teacher, masculine. Se foto uchitela. As you have probably noticed, the ending in the genitive case of a masculine is the same as in the accusative case. Another masculine word is student, in Ukrainian student. And when you ask whose photo is this, you answer this photo of a student. In Ukrainian, it is se foto studenta. Se foto studenta. And you see again, here the ending is a, like in the accusative case. Now let's see the plural form. Plural form is also the same as in accusative case. So, whose photo is this? Chie se foto. This photo is of students. This is students' photo. Se foto studentio. You see the ending here the same as in accusative case. 
Let's see the other word. Батьки, meaning parents. Батьки. So, whose photo is this? And the answer is this photo of parents. Це фото батьків. Це фото батьків. And again, and again, it is the same like in the accusative case. Please try to apply this rule with the other nouns you learned from the previous lessons. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to write me or comment.